Okay guys, first before we get started, I'm gonna leave a link to this page in the description below. This is the Yuzu game compatibility list that shows you what games are playable and what games aren't playable with the Yuzu emulator. So you can browse this list and check it out for yourself. Now the most important thing you're gonna need to get this emulator up and running is the product keys and the title keys. Now I cannot leave the link to this page, so you will have to type this in your browser. Now once you download your keys, you're gonna get them as one file. You're gonna have to extract it to get your product key and title key separate. So if you don't have 7-Zip, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Download 7-Zip, then all you wanna do is right click on the key file, go to 7-Zip and extract here. And now we have our title key and product key. We can delete this. Let's create a new folder, right click, new folder. And we're just gonna call this folder keys. And let's move our title and product keys into this folder called keys. Now let's head over to yuzumu.org. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download. Then scroll to the bottom and go ahead and click download for windows x64 and your download should start once the download is complete go up to the top right of your browser click on the three little dots select downloads show in folder and there's our yuzu install file click it and that brings us to our welcome to yuzu installer the two things that will already be checked is install yuzu and create desktop shortcut don't worry about checking install yuzu early access because early access is for patreon supporters go ahead and hit install thanks for installing yuzu exit when Yuzu first opens, you're gonna get a message saying encryption keys are missing, but don't worry about that, we have our keys. Click OK. Now let's add our keys to the emulator. Let's go up to File, Open Yuzu Folder, and all you wanna do is drag that keys folder on our desktop into this folder. Exit out, exit out of the emulator, reopen the emulator, and as you see, we didn't get that missing key message. Now let's go to our configuration settings. Let's go up to emulation, configure. Go down to graphics. For the API, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, as I do, you wanna change this to OpenGL for the best performance. If you have an AMD graphics card, you wanna leave it at Vulkan. Everything on the graphics settings, we're gonna leave at default settings. Let's go to advance. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you wanna make sure both of these boxes are checked. If you have an AMD graphics card, you wanna uncheck both of these boxes. Accuracy level, I'm gonna change it from high to normal for a smoother performance. Now let's go down to controls. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. So under connect controller, you wanna make sure it's on pro controller. If it's on anything else such as dual Joy-Con or handheld, you wanna change it to pro controller. Under input device, I'm gonna change it to Xbox One controller since that's what I'm using. And just like that, my controller is actually mapped out and I don't have to do anything. As you see, my analogs are moving. If I hit my buttons, they light up red. The good thing about this emulator is that it maps out the buttons for you. But if you would like to change a button, all you do is come over here, click on the button you wanna change, and then just select the button that you wanna change it to. And if you create a custom button layout up here next to profile on the right, you'll see new. You can save that layout by giving it a name. I'll just say Xbox One. Okay, now we can exit out by hitting okay. Now let's upload our games into the emulator. Just double click on the home screen. Locate wherever you keep your games. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. Select that folder and then select, select folder. And there we are, my Switch games are now uploaded. Okay, now let's go ahead and load up a game. But first, let's come down here. By default, you're gonna be on handheld mode. This is gonna put you at a 720p resolution. Go ahead and click this, and it'll change to dock. Now you'll be running at 1080p. Let's load up Mega Man 11. Just click the game, and it should load up. Now, 
as you see, we are in the game. The controls are working and everything's good. Now, if you would like to go full screen, all you want to do is hit F11 on your keyboard. And there we go.